Hello and welcome back to Forensic Science India. I am Arunima and in today's topic we will be learning about the remaining two parts of mechanical injuries which will include laceration and fractures. So today's class also we will be learning about blunt force trauma under which the first part is laceration and as clearly said it is caused by hard and blunt force trauma. Now unlike abrasion and contusion laceration has comparatively greater amount of blood loss. It is caused due to higher impact of force and has got greater amount of uh, severity in nature. And it often leads to splitting or tearing of the tissues. As I said, because it is of higher impact, it often leads to splitting of the tissues also. It can be classified on different bases. Firstly, it is on split laceration, stretch laceration, tear laceration, avulsion, crush laceration and cut laceration. All these classifications are given on the basis of the mechanism of wound formation, where they are formed and how does that particular causative force lead to formation of the injury. Split laceration, it is also caused as incised looking laceration. Now if you look at the image, it often shows a very similar pattern to incised wounds, but the only difference is that incised wounds are very clean cut wounds and you can always find they are spindle shaped in nature. If you look at a split laceration, it has a more coarse appearance and soft tissues are crushed between the impacting force and the underlying bones. So often these are found in the scalp, face or shin where an underlying bone is present and the skin which is covering that bone is basically uh, compressed due to the impacting force. The second one is stretch laceration and it is caused due to over stretching of the skin. So it basically impacts the tensile strength of the skin. After the tensile strength of the skin has been exceeded beyond the uh, fixed value, it causes tearing or stretching of the skin. Uh, skin and often because of this a pulling force is present so unlike other forms of laceration where a crushing or a compression force is present in stretch laceration a pulling force is present it often appears like stretch marks that appear on our skin these are superficial as you can see in the photo there is no extra blood loss it is not a very impacted injury unlike the other laceration it does not have a uh, very deep uh, ridge formation and these are often found in rta cases like in the road traffic accident cases whenever the vehicle has ran over the person these are very commonly found near the thigh or the abdomen regions why because the thigh and the abdomen are soft regions often they do have underlying organs inside and abdomen region also has a lot of organs even the thigh it does not have a very uh, strong part it is a soft part because of which uh, the tensile strength of the skin is high which gets pulled over because of which a stretch mark like formation appears tear laceration tear laceration is uh, comparatively deeper and it is often uh, looks like very un unclean uh, wound so often tear laceration can again be confused with incised wound but if you see the formation of this wound it is very rough it has a coarse nature it is highly rigged rigged refers to it is an unclean nature and uh, it has got uh, unsmooth edges it has got very uh, disruptive uh, uh, image to it and if you see the photo uh, in the surrounding areas you can see there are contusions present, bruising of the skin is also present. And these are mostly caused by a blunt hard weapon and it produces a cut like pattern. So similarly in this image you can see it has got even uh, in the surrounding regions it has got certain cut marks. It has got a contusion injury. It has got certain uh, bruises and often this uh, bruise is changing color. It is becoming darker. So uh, the medical legal significance of studying such injuries is we can understand what are the causative forces behind this particular injury. What may be the uh, a scenario or what may be the type of weapon which is being used how much amount of force has been used and what is the age of the injury whether it is an anti-mortem or post-mortem injury etc 
avulsion laceration this is also known as only avulsion and it is also called as flaying or grinding laceration the word flaying itself refers to separation of the skin from the remaining part of the body grinding laceration it is called so because the force which is used is called a grinding force and it often is present in the rta cases like whenever the wheel of the vehicle grinds on the surface of our skin it may cause such degloving of the skin from the underlying tissues and it is caused by very high impact force crush laceration uh, these crush lacerations are often found in uh, presence with the avulsion and stretch laceration so they are never present as single uh, injuries they are often associated with other injuries also in the photo you can see how the fingers have been crushed and it is uh, by the name as it suggests it has been caused due to certain crushed force or certain compression force and it may sometimes lead to uh, causing total amputation or partial amputation like in this case if it is treated on after a certain period of time it can lead to septicemia or certain other injuries and in sometimes can lead to partial amputation of the fingers also studying these type of lacerations also help to understand uh, what kind of injuries it is present whether it is a simple hurt or whether it is a grievous hurt and in cases of grievous hurt because it, the medico legal significance or because of the judicial uh, thing uh, the punishment that is given for a uh, uh, injury which is uh, found to be grievous in nature is much higher than a simple injury so studying these injuries can help us understand what is the medico legal significance behind it now the next part of a blunt force trauma is fracture as very commonly known it is caused due to the breaking of the bone due to excessive mechanical trauma it causes the discontinuity of the bone and the force can be applied either directly or indirectly to the bone sometimes uh, the force is applied directly like either onto the femur or the tibia or direct direct hit will be there to the particular bone but in some cases it can affect in the surrounding regions also for example a hit on the head can sometimes lead to fracture on the skull a hit on the hand can sometimes lead to fracture on the upper bone or the upper arm or to the uh, sometimes if there is a road traffic accident then uh, if we fall over or if our uh, head is hit then there can be a fracture of the collar bone especially while driving if the person has put on seat belt it is very common to see a fracture of the collar bone or the clavicle because of that high impact classification of fractures they can be classified on the basis of their etiology the first one is traumatic fractures the traumatic fractures are the ones which we commonly study about which are caused due to mechanical trauma it can be either due to suicide due to homicide or accidental and studying of this help us to understand what is the medical legal significance how was that injury caused whether it is a simple hurt or a grievous hurt whether it was done for causing grievous hurt in what way that particular injury has been inflicted and whether it was fatal enough to cause the death of the person pathological fractures are caused due to underlying diseases for example in the case of uh, rheumatoid arthritis or in the case of osteoporosis if the bones are very weak then in that case it can cause by very small amount of trauma or very small amount of fall also can cause fracturing of the bone or there or if there is a deficiency of vitamin d within the bones or deficiency of calcium within the bones then it can also cause uh, such diseases and uh, also it can lead to fracturing of the bones with very small impact based on the external environment fractures can be classified as simple fracture where the impact is only on the bone so these are caused mostly due to small impact where there is direct hit to the bone it causes only injury to the bone compound fracture is where the in, the hit may be indirect or it can be direct but it affects the bone along with the surrounding regions the underlying tissues sometimes even the organs in many cases it has been seen that the fracture the force was so high that the bone has penetrated into some underlying organ or some underlying tissue so that forms a part of compound fracture classification again on the basis of pattern if you can see the image uh, it is very descriptive 
in the case of open fracture you can see that the two parts have completely separated from each other taking a radiology or an x-ray of the bone can help us in understanding what pattern the bone has broken into a transverse fracture is one where if you see the breaking pattern does not lead to complete separation of the bone it has happened in a certain alignment green stick fractures are very common in children and often occurred uh, with uh, the ones who are having some deficiency of nutrients like calcium or vitamin d commutated fracture is where the bone gets uh, broken into several smaller pieces also these are often caused in road traffic accident or when a purposeful impact is given so higher impact causing further uh, breakage of the bone into smaller particles segmented uh, fracture if you can see the fracture has occurred in two different segments and it occurs in a uh, parallel fashion or in a parallel pattern and uh, closed fracture it is where one part of the bone remains in contact to the other part and uh, the other part is completely detached so that is known as closed fracture spiral fractures these are uh, very common in the skull and uh, it starts like very commonly it is also known as radial fracture if you see these uh, if you see the cross section then you will see like a ray like appearance or wheel like appearance of this uh, fracture a linear fracture as the name suggests is a straight simple fracture often it is caused due to low impact trauma and it is not that much fatal in nature impacted fracture is the one where uh, it also causes harm to the underlying organs uh, for example if the impact has happened on the shin or on the uh, forearm and it affects the underlying organs also that time it is called as impacted fracture so that will be all for today uh, if you uh, have any questions you can put them in the comment section and uh, please like share and uh, follow subscribe to our channel if you are interested in forensic medicine and uh, want to know about it more thank you so much